How tall are you? I'm six four. Six four. I'm six five, man. You're, I know you're very. See, well. but I need steroids because you see a guy like me. I'm I'm six five. I weigh 189 pounds. Like like, what do you weigh? I'm about 245, 250. But yeah, you're mean, ripped. Un- unless if you're in, you know, some type of sports that kind of back then demands it. There, there's no real use for it. Really? No. Well, just to look good. Um, if you just want to look good, but uh, I, I really don't don't recommend it. Yeah, I get in a fight with a guy your size, I'm gonna get my ass kicked. <laughs> yeah, I would recommend not getting yeah. into that fight. In your book, by the way, is this all worth it? Is the book selling like crazy? This is like a national phenomenon. What's going on here? I really didn't know how this book was uh, going to influence not just baseball, but it, it, it's influencing everyone in general. But the players have got to be pissed because they got it because now well, they got Well, Mark gotta... McGuire must be on fire. Right. The only way to make this completely valid... And was I, to name and, names? And I believe eventually will happen. One of these players will come out of the woodwork and agree with me. Listen, well, my attack is not towards a player. Players, my attack is solely and strictly against Major League Baseball and the Player Association. Are they calling your records into question? Then they might as well call everybody's into question, right? Um, I don't know how they're going to do that because in, in the 80s and 90s, it was uh, it was a, the steroid era. And I don't but, know uh, how But what I'm saying gonna... is if they're, you know, throwing you out and, and, and casting aspersions on you, right. then they have to do it to everybody, right? Well, I don't, know, I don't know if they will or they can because I'm the only one or one of the very few that admitted taking steroids. My main objective was never to attack the players. My main objective was to attack Major League Baseball and the Player Association. The reason why I named the players is because I need these individuals to come out and I admit that what I'm saying is the truth. Um, so, so what is wrong with Major League Baseball and the Players Association? They allowed steroids in the game. They, they endorsed it. They, they turned their you know, blind eye to it. And because they were all uh, you know, betting for, uh, benefiting from it financially. So you're saying, like, like even in your book, you said you worked for uh, George Bush, our president. He used to run a baseball team. And you say even he turned his head towards steroid use, right? At the time when I was being traded to the Texas Rangers, an article came out saying that, you know, Jose Canseco obviously, you know, brought steroids to the game in a sense, uh, whether educating players or by, you know, physically showing them what, what he can do with it. And... Uh, you know, I, I just kind of elaborated on that. You're saying this is no big revelation, is what no, you're saying. No, absolutely not, no. Absolutely. I kind of know that people do steroids. Well, you look at these people and you say, well, why do they look that way? Aren't you a little shocked that Congress even cares? Like, like seriously, wh- what is Congress worrying about baseball for when they got to worry about, you know, the whole infrastructure of the country's falling apart? I mean, I don't care what baseball players do. I honestly, I honestly God, don't care. I, I think because nowadays it's it's a social problem, really. I, I think people don't understand that, I mean, there's so much pressure to succeed in sports, right. especially with the salaries uh, in baseball nowadays. I mean, a player has three or four good years, and you're making $20, $30 million a year. I mean, that, that that's just incredible. And the pressure to perform and, and perform on a daily basis. The schedule is 162 uh, games long. And then you got spring training, which is another 30 games, and you got playoffs and World Series. So you're looking well over 200 games. I mean, that's just a lot of pressure, a, a lot of wear and tear on the human body. Let Where's me it? ask you something, though. Are there play- they, Not every player takes steroids. No, absolutely not. Not every player. Not every player. No. But you do get an advantage if you, if you take them, right, because you get stronger. Um, I, for myself, the major advantage was maintaining my strength and, and my stamina during the whole year. Right. And that's definitely a, a Right, because your recovery time improves. And that's why you see a lot of athletes, let's say... Um, you know, pre-steroid era. You know, these athletes would have hit maybe by, by the all-star break, which, I mean, back then, 20, 30 years ago, if you hit 30 home runs, you were a god. Right. Today, right. you hit 30 home runs. You're looking for a job. Are you still taking uh, you some got of a, this stuff? You still uh, juicing? I don't take illegal drugs, no. No? No. Look well, you. you take the legal ones. What are they? <laughs> <laughs> no. I think people have to go back to my high school, and I kind of talk about this in the book, where... I mean, I wasn't the most, you know, genetically gifted gifted in, in individual. I mean, right. I had back problems. Uh, right. I remember one time coming home from high school and just bending over, being paralyzed on the ground for half an hour. Wow. So, uh, I mean, I've had four major back surgeries. I've had uh, reconstructive elbow surgery, hand surgery, and for me in general, and I don't and I don't endorse steroids in any way, shape, or form. I think it's it's very dangerous, especially for young kids. I mean, they're illegal. Uh, if you're going to do them, which I, you know, I don't recommend it for everyone, right. you've got to have some type of medical supervision. No if and buts about it. I mean, I'd rather people be informed about steroids and, and growth hormones than go in a dark alley with you know, some used needles, some infected needles, and, right. some, and some steroids that are you know, ba- basically purchased in the black market. You don't even know if they're steroids or not. 
and just injecting these massive dosages. Yeah, it's dangerous. Tell me something. Uh, you think players who use roids should be allowed in the Hall of Fame? Got to, right? Uh, you know, yeah. I, you have I, to. I don't see how they're going to change. I don't know. That's the most difficult question because I, I don't see how they can judge Will that, they keep I mean. you out of the Hall of Fame? I have no idea. You don't but care? I, I care, obviously, but, right. but it's, it's out of my control. Okay. How do you let a guy who's taken steroids for a long time into the Hall of Fame, how do you take, if say Barry Bonds has taken them, how do you take his career and compare it to Hank Aaron's? They're not the same career. Not comparing. They, they didn't play on the same field. You know what I mean? They played in a different way. How do you compare records? One guy got stamina from steroids, the other guy didn't. You don't okay. have to compare records. That guy didn't do everything it took to be the champion. No, oh, yeah. I, come on. Robin, he was, it's illegal. He wasn't allowed to. Robin, in a 100-yard dash, if I trip the guy next to me, I've done everything I can to win. People are going to be debating this for a long time.